uh, the first Sunday of the NFL season has just kicked off. Eight games are now underway, and so is the league's national anthem controversy. So far, the player protests have been very minimal. The only public protest CNN can confirm took place in Miami, where uh, Dolphins wide receivers Albert Wilson and Kenny Stills took a knee during the national anthem. Miami defensive lineman Robert Quinn stood with a raised uh, fist during the anthem. And Colin Kaepernick just tweeted his support saying, my brothers, Kay Stills, and I think I see 12, continue to show their unwavering strength by fighting for the oppressed. They have not back down even when attacked and intimidated their courage will move the world forward love is at the root of our resistance all right let's talk more about this with me right now to discuss is tyrone Poole, who is a former nfl player and a two-time super bowl champion also with me is wes lowry who is a cnn contributor and a national reporter for the washington post all right good to see you both so tyrene tyrone let me begin with you you know just two players you know took to a knee so far today that we know of you've got the raised fist as well. What does this say, if anything, about the movement, um, the motivation to keep it going or to dial it back among players? Well, uh, I want to thank you for having me on the show. Thank God for giving me the opportunity to be here. But I think what it shows is momentum. Uh, It shows that People are beginning, it's kind of like in a classroom, when you got one student that raises their hand, uh, then everyone else starts to raise their hand because they understand and see the same problem. So I think this is giving great legs to a situation. And let's remind everybody, it's not about the flag, you know, it's not about the military. I love the military, I love this country, wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But we also understand that there are problems uh, from top to bottom in this country. And there are people who have been put in situations to make a change, to have a plan platform. And um, I thank Colin Kaepernick for using that platform. And um, I'm behind him. And uh, this is something that really needs to be addressed, the injustice in the country and to all people. And that message, the, the message of social injustice, and that was what the protest was all about, has gotten lost. That message has gotten lost along the way, uh, where, you know, some thought that it was, a uh, you know, protesting the flag, uh, protesting democracy, etc. Do you believe that that message has been made more clear now that there is less confusion over the motivation behind the kneeling. Well, I think you're always going to have people who are going to see things the way they want to see it. Even if you tell them the truth, they're still going to do a great job of trying to deflect what it is that you're trying to talk about. But I do believe that people are beginning to see about the truth of the movement. It's about the injustice, and it happens every day, every hour, every minute. So, Wes, you know, the season starts with no agreement on an anthem policy between the league and the players. Um, There was, you know, real complaint uh, coming from the players union that they weren't invited to the table the last time the NFL talked about it and, you know, entertained a policy change. So where does it go from here? What's needed? Of course. Well, I do think, actually, this is a pretty clear victory for the Players Association. If we remember back in May, the NFL announced a new anthem policy that would more or less ban players from protesting in the way they've been protesting. The Players Association complained about that. They said we hadn't been consulted on that at all. Mm -hmm. And essentially what ends up happening is the NFL announces today that they're not going to have any policy whatsoever uh, during this season. What that means is that players are free to protest the way we saw them today in Miami and, uh, and the way others might, you know, this is only the first week of the season, so we don't know what's going to happen moving forward. You know, this I do think that this speaks to the NFL trying to figure out what it's supposed to do and, and how it should best handle this. We saw the NFL mm-hmm. being very reactionary to the president previously, um, very um, attempting to try to kind of soothe its fan base, some of which did not like these protests, and, and, see, and that only riling up the players even more. And so, in reality, what I think we're seeing here is what can be termed a victory for these players, right? Mm-hmm. That they always asserted they had the right to these protests. The NFL kind of waffled all over every side of this issue and finally, eventually, came down on the side of, if you want to kneel during the anthem, go ahead. Mm. And this Nike ad campaign, Colin Kaepernick weighing in today via tweet and then, of course, uh, through this ad, very powerful messaging, really, of, you know, uh, standing with conviction, you know, playing with heart, all of that. How helpful... Uh, is it or do you believe it in any way galvanizes the movement when you have a huge marketing giant product giant like Nike seemingly behind it 
what I think this speaks to is the staying power of Colin Kaepernick as, as a symbol and as an athlete. I think that the beginning people thought that they could just kind of wait him out. He wasn't on a roster. This would all go away. And But what we've seen now as we enter what is our third season of discussing these demonstrations, these protests, is that Colin Kaepernick's not going away, Eric Reed's not going away, and this energy among the players is not going away. Tyrone, how do you see it? How do you see that ad campaign, Nike's endorsement, you know, of this message? I see it as a big uh, victory. Uh, Nike understands, of course, two sides of it. They get an opportunity to be a part of the future change, and they also get an opportunity to see it from, you know, their supporters that buy their products. So uh, I look at it as a win-win uh, for them. And I also I'll go back into history. I'll get in the time machine, time machine, and go back <laughs> a little bit. Um, back in the day when um, Afro Americans, the Negro Baseball League, were not allowed to play baseball, I look at Colin. Kaepernick as the Jackie Robinson. Uh, you know, he is given a platform. He has an opportunity to change the future of something that we know has been happening from the present back to the past. So uh, I see him as the Jackie Robinson. I don't want to put all that pressure on him, but, <laughs> People but have you made know, lots that's of comparisons. what I see him as. Jackie Robinson, Muhammad Ali, yes. you know, John Carlos for taking a stand. All right, thank you so much, Tyrone. Good to see you. Appreciate it. Tyrone Poole and Wes Lowry. Appreciate it.